This is your captain speaking. Let's read. Like and subscribe! Hey, kid. There is a universal truth that whether you're a human or a bear or an ostrich or a half dinosaur, half dragon, you like to go on vacation! So pack your pretend bags because Parker the penguin goes on vacation and we're going with him. Like stowaways? Like secret stowaways. Ooh, sounds like Storyteller is starting up sass. <laughs> okay, not like real stowaways who jump on a boat and don't pay and sneak on and have a free trip because this is traveling by boat. No criminality involved. Just a criminally good time. In a big white frozen land beneath a big blue sky lives a black and white penguin with a twinkle bing, in his eye. And this must be Parker because it says Parker's place and because, well, he was on the cover. He's a happy kind of fellow with a solitary wish that he never gets too cold and has a freezer full of fish. Okay, that's two wishes. He also dreams of lounging on Caribbean shores someday with fruity drinks, warm white sands, and his cares all washed away. Okay, three wishes, but that's all. Well, frankly, I don't think the word solitary applies here at all. Well, wishes are like potato chips, Olivia the Ostrich. How so? It's hard to stop at just one. Too sorry. Oh! Neil, the narwhal newsboy's here, and Parker's turning blue. Winter's round the corner, and a nasty shock is too. What's the headline, narwhal newsboy? Coldest winter in a bazillion years, a bazillion years, a bazillion years. Oh, wait, there's like super teeny tiny writing. I can't see that. Uh, Green Bear. <laughs> yes. Can you please look at the teeny tiny writing on there? I'm your bear. Let's see. Do fish poop? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Sheesh, says Parker. Way too cold. It's time for me to run. The Caribbean is calling me with sand and sea and sun. And as you can see right here, Parker has a vision board, also known as his refrigerator full of fish, with one solitary idea. A Caribbean holiday get away. Some cod, sardines, a change of clothes, and char and mackerel too. And herring and a book should be enough to see me through. And let's take a look at how he has packed for the trip. A tuxedo. Well, that will come in handy in case he gets invited to a prom. Oh, a movie premiere. And he's packed a single book which is really helpful for a trip. And he chose the penguin is mightier than the sword fish classic. He grabs his trusty oar, which once he rescued from a boat and yanks and twists and clenches fist and sets himself afloat. And what's his mode of transportation? <gasps> He's on a private iceberg, a traveling iceberg, floats where he wants to go. He island hops up north and waves his friends off, big and bold, and hollers, it's vacation time for me, enjoy the cold. And they look unhappy. But did they ask to go on the private iceberg? I see no requests. When Parker's wandered farther north, the north will let him wander. He looks out at the ocean, and he has a good old ponder. And look at this Islands, topography, that spectacular rock formation that looks like an elephant. Atlantic Ocean. Now he's really started on his tour. He's pooped from all the paddling, though, so snack time now for sure. <laughs> he said poop. <laughs> but not like that kind of poop. It was like the, I'm pooped, like I'm tired. North or east or up or south or down or west or through. <gasps> Parker, sure of one thing, steering wise, he's not a clue. And I'm afraid that his map says, I am lost. But you know what they say, all those who wander are not lost. Or maybe he's actually really lost. Oh, hello, 
Stingray! Hello, Flying Fish! What a delight! I think I took a few wrong turns. Can you lot set me right? We could help! Four days later, Lad Ho! The ice beneath poor Parker's feet becomes too small to stand. A great relief when all his friends together shout out, Land! But Oh no, not his private iceberg. Oh, why is it melting? What is he going to do? Galapagos? I'm very lost, says Parker, quite bemused. I've gone 5,000 miles off course. This has been quite the cruise. And look at the welcoming committee. Welcome to Galapagos. Dream vacation for storyteller right here. One day I want to go. What are the Galapagos, you're asking me? These islands off of the coast of Ecuador that are famous for being rich with wildlife and, and, and sea life that you don't see anywhere else. It is a dream if you love nature. And he is living the dream. Although this is not his Caribbean dream. He is in Ecuador, that's in South America. How odd, how strange, how marvelous, bizarre, exotic beast. I'd love to stay in chat, but oh, I gotta head out east. This handy boat should see me float on course for where I'm due. Farewell, Galapagoian friends. I'm off to see Peru. And it looks like at least this time, this will not melt. This is a much sturdier boat than, oh, never mind that. Oh, pirates, what a nice surprise. Yo ho, avast, ye salty. I wonder, could I use your ship? This one is, um, it's faulty. And meanwhile, the pirates are like, pirate, pirate, party, party, pirate, party, boom, boom. So let me get this right. This guy has decided to abandon his friends, steal a boat, and join a pirate crew. Well, when you put it that way, this sounds like a great vacation. Mm. Now, Pirate Penguin Parker's pushing on towards Peru. Pirate Penguin's pushing on towards Peru. Woo! And he sees the shape of Lima looming up across the blue. So he's totally on a pirate party ship right now. And having himself a grand old time, got the full costume on board. This guy's really living his best life, although he's still nowhere near the Caribbean. What a wondrous city! What a splendid place to be! Parker loves it here, but still has many sights to see. Look at that, he's in Lima, Peru now, after being in the Galapagos off of Ecuador. So this is Machu Picchu. Yeah, I guess it's pretty neat, but there should be an escalator. Ow, my penguin feet! Yet another storyteller, hashtag dream vacation. Machu Picchu is this ancient land where the Incas used to live and now there are these ruins and they're spectacular and yeah, a lot of stairs. Totally true. They should put in an escalator of some kind. A stroll across the Amazon? Great way to spend a morning. But I wish these pesky bugs would give me just a bit more warning. <laughs> One thing I must make sure that I'll remember in my notes. When traveling around like this, you use a lot of boats. Hey, that's our boat! Oh no! Oh yes! Oops, he did it again! He stole a new boat! He's a criminal! A Parker Penguin! Venezuela! Because he really should run really fast. He keeps getting in trouble everywhere he goes. Venezuela! Getting close. Caribbean shores are near. This waterfall is lovely, though. I'll have a quick snack here. And this isn't just any waterfall. This is Angel Falls, the world's tallest uninterrupted waterfall and another World Heritage Site, just like Machu Picchu. This penguin is getting around and leaving a trail of crime in his wake. I'm gonna ignore that part. It's island hopping 
once again, but now in warmer climes. And Parker's in his paradise for hot vacation times. And it looks like he's finally made it to the Caribbean. I see a stolen jet ski. Maybe he borrowed it? Sure, tell yourself that story. <laughs> ah, a fruity drink? Some jazzy shades and miles of warm white sands. And Parker's feeling right at home in wild, exotic lands. And now he's officially the most wanted penguin in at least one continent and several islands in the Caribbean. <laughs> okay, the point is... Steal a boat? No. Steal two boats? No, that's not it either. Steal two boats and a jet ski? No, you know, really, the point was not to tell you to enjoy a life of crime. But the point is that I want you to feel the zest and the hunger to go out there and see the world and not via any kinds of criminal means. Best vacation ever!